Going through our position by position preview of Millersville football, and today we talked to running backs coach Nate Henkel about the running backs in the Millersville football team. And Nate, you have a couple returners, a couple new guys, a deep stable that you're really excited about. Uh, let's first talk about Myron Miles. He's a he's a veteran that's been around. Um, he's had some production in the past, but it seems like he's really looking for a breakout year this year. What do you think? Yeah, I think uh, you're absolutely right with that. Myron's been a guy um, that's been with the program for a couple years now. I'm um, going to his redshirt senior year. Uh, he provides a lot for us, not only on the field, but off the field as well. His leadership's outstanding. Um, he's got high energy, and his knowledge of the game has only increased every year. So I think what he brings to us is going to be um, really outstanding. He's going to help this position group go really, um, really further down the line. Well, when we talked to Coach in the spring, uh, there was a, we know you're going to be breaking in a new quarterback, or at least an inexperienced quarterback. And, and oftentimes, the running game, that's the best friend of the inexperienced quarterback. So um, this, this running backs group is very deep. And it lo looks like there's going to be some more emphasis in the running game, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, we talk about in our, in our position groups every day. Uh, we want that workload. Uh, we want the, the offense to be placed on our shoulders uh, because we have such a deep group um, and guys that are all talented. Uh, we've got seven guys that can play right now. Um, and if there's ever an issue with the guy ahead of the next guy, it's the next guy up. You know, we say running backs by committee. There's no individuals in our group. Um, so everybody's prepared. Everybody's ready to go. Um, and I think, like you said, with the experience level at the quarterback position and our receiver position as well and what the offensive line's done up front, they've regressed a lot. Um, I think we can really carry this offense, um, keep ourselves on the field, keep the defense off the field, keep the, co uh, keep the clock running, um, and get some yards, get some yard touchdowns. Well, let's, take a, uh, let's talk about some of those individual running backs that are coming back. We already talked about Myron Miles. Who else is a, is a guy that's a veteran maybe that, that uh, is going to provide some experience there? So Mara Moat has definitely uh, improved his abilities. Um, making the switch now from wide receiver to running back um, was an all-state guy in high school, actually. Um, and what he does on the field is outstanding. Very good vertical cut guy. Um, makes really good reads. Um, he does everything he's coached to do. I'm expecting a breakout year from him. Um, ben Ortiz coming back now uh, for his redshirt freshman year. Downhill runner, tough guy. Um, Yusef Lundy as well, improved tremendously um, in the two years that he's been here now. Uh, so those are the veteran guys that we spoke about. Um, all, any one of those guys can step on the field and give us production. And then you look at the incoming freshmen. You had a couple very highly recruited players, Phil Overton, who was an all-state, first-team all-stater, and then Sheldon Snell, who came out of Harrisburg, is also a very highly, highly touted recruit as well. What have you seen in those guys in camp? Uh, I've seen a lot of things that I like, for sure. Um, Phil's abilities allow him to do more things than just the running back position. Uh, we expect a lot of him out of the special teams game and the return game um, because, like you said, he's an all-state guy. He's got that ability to move. Um, so he's going to be a guy that does multiple things for us. Uh, and Sheldon is, is right there as well. Um, Sheldon put a lot of time in during the summer, got, developed a really good understanding of what we're doing offensively. Um, he's hopped in every opportunity he could to get an extra rep. Um, and again, he's running downhill, very hard-nosed runner. He's a tough guy to bring down. So I think those two have warranted um, getting into the mix in the position group. And we've got to find ways to get all those guys on the field because they can help us in, in multiple ways. It's a good problem to have. A lot of depth and a lot of guys that can sure. touch the ball. Thanks, Nate, for your time. And uh, we talked about the running backs today. We'll touch into the offensive line and tight ends tomorrow on our run through the Millersville football team training camp preview.